It's your good sis Lisa Pats and today we are doing another shout out video but this video is going to be my top five binge worthy YouTubers. I love YouTube, I don't really watch TV, I watch YouTube. While y'all are watching Love is Blind, I'm out here watching YouTube. Oh. I'll see that fly. So I wanted to show you guys the YouTubers that I always go back to, the YouTubers that I check their channels if they haven't uploaded because I'm like, where's my fave? Oh, we've got gamers, we've got beauty, we've got lifestyle, my laptop here so we can literally go on their channel, have a little look and watch it together, you know? The first YouTuber that I want to shout out is Will on a Whim. Now, Will on a Whim, I found him through his hair videos and I absolutely love the way that he edits. I love his personality. He has so he's so funny he's actually funny like i will be sitting here laughing out loud as in ha 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 i'm laughing because he's funny i love the way that he edits he's really good at using memes at like the perfect timing and he just puts a lot of effort into his production value and you can really tell that so he has his main channel which is will on the whim but he also has a like vlog channel if you prefer more vlogs i'm kind of like i love vlogs but I also love a good old hair video. I love a good old sit down, chat, chat, chat video. So it's up to you on what you wanna consume of his content. He recently uploaded this video and it was um, how I film and edit YouTube videos. That video was so inspiring to me and I took so many tips. So if you're someone that likes hair content or if you like to watch videos that are really well edited using a lot of memes and just like really funny, like if you wanna laugh, go and binge Will and Oil, okay? Okay, so the second shout out that I have today is Raven Elise TV. When you're watching her content, it feels like you're watching like a TV show. And I actually love that for her, you know, her channel's called at Raven Elise TV, duh. She does so many different types of content, but she does a lot of DIYs, lifestyle content. She does some hair videos as well. Like I remember she used to do hair videos of um, how she does her daughter's hair. So she just has like a really wide range of content. She's been doing this for years. She has 996 videos, <laughs> which is crazy. I have been watching her for years. Like as in, I watched her before her daughter was born, like, I have been here for years. Like if I go, oh, uh, do you know, do you know how I found her? I actually found her because of her acne videos. She had severe cystic acne and I personally have struggled with acne. Her videos was one of the ones that I ended up picking on. And then after that, I kind of just kept watching her and watching her evolve. Like looking back at her old videos, it's crazy. Cause I remember watching a lot of these. She's amazing for like DIYs, lifestyle content. And I just think she's such a boss. Her little daughter is so cute. She really reminds me of my niece, which I really love watching content where, you know, you can just, you just feel like you're part of it. And I absolutely love her videos. She's recently like really upped her production value and I'm so here for it. Again, you can go and just scroll back and just keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. Um, but yeah, I think that she's someone that she has taken YouTube to a different level for herself. And I think that's really inspiring. So shout out to you, Raven. Raven Elise was one of the first YouTubers that I started to like comment under her videos. Cause I never used to comment on people's videos. And then I started making videos myself and I was like, oh, I should comment and like and subscribe. Like I was liking and subscribing, but I wasn't commenting. So I started to comment under her videos. So if you see me in the comment section, say hi. <laughs> so the next YouTuber that I want to shout out is James Turner. Now James Turner, I've been watching for years he does a lot of sims content which i absolutely love i love sims i've always been a big fan of sims ever since i'd probably say like no yeah since the first sims so the sims i've been playing sims since then i actually was thinking about doing like let's play videos but i don't know ah! it's just like a whole different avenue and it's just like a different it's just a whole different thing but let me know if you'd be interested in let's play videos from me i really enjoy watching his videos he does a lot of let's plays on the james turner yt channel he has another channel called fabuliki where he does like other let's plays of other games and a game that i fell in love with through him is city skylines i absolutely love that game only because i watch him play it i've never played it myself I watch him play it. I find it really soothing to watch people play games, especially games that I love, like The Sims or um, what's that other game that I like to watch? No, mainly The Sims actually, yeah. Yeah, mainly The Sims. Oh, there's another one. 
but he used to play oh the roller coaster one what's it called roller coaster tycoon i used to absolutely love watching that as well i just find something about watching people play a game really soothing and like it's almost like therapeutic for me like he stays uploading you can always expect to see a new video from him and he has content that is just like it's almost like a tv series so the current let's play is called rent to riches and he's on part 16 but he goes up to like part 49 part 50 like it's literally a tv show this is why i don't watch tv because i'll be watching james he's also australian which i absolutely love the australian accent i used to watch master chef australia rather than like watching master chef uk because we just found it more interesting the australian version and absolutely love his accent like <laughs> my sister's always like are you listening to the sims guy again because she can hear his voice and she can hear his accent like because i'm just playing the videos i'm watching them yeah but i just really enjoy hearing other people's accents i feel like my accent is like non-existent i don't know but yeah i'm a big big fan of his content i've been watching for years and if you like sims content if you like let's play content if you like games watching people play games he's definitely someone to check out has this, been, has this light been on my face the whole time hold up me trying to do moody light and then it's like on my face like that okay that's that okay next we have Lynette Adkins I absolutely love this girl one of the first videos I watched of hers was how to become the main character you know when like, everybody wanted to be the main character but this girl is the main character like she is the main character okay after I'd watched like the first video of hers I think I did kind of scroll back on her channel and I saw that she did a lot of content about how to become a content creator and at the time I was really interested in it I hadn't started my YouTube channel yet so I found her videos really helpful in that way and then she does a lot of like sit down videos talking about you know some of the titles of her videos is like why we struggle with discipline you know a self-improvement project how I reprogram my mind to create my dream life like would you not click on that video these titles and like the things that she's talking about I think it's just like she just has a really interesting perspective on these things and I really enjoy her videos but yeah she's recently moved to New York and I absolutely love content in New York I love New York I went to New York um I went to New York last year and I really want to go back New York is so cool I really enjoyed being there so her being in New York right now she's doing a lot of vlogs and I'm enjoying the content baby there was one video actually that I have watched multiple times. It was like about books or something. Here you go. It was this books, movies and music, etc. that helped me wake the fuck up. The amount of times I've watched that, I love to read, but I found it really hard to read recently because I'm really distracted and I feel like the books I'm reading, they're just talking about, I don't know. They're just not interesting to me sometimes, but she recommends really good books. Like I find the, the books that she listens to really interesting. And she also introduced me to Hindsight. Both of them really helped me through lockdown. Why do I always talk about lockdown in my YouTube videos? I actually don't need to. No, we're not gonna do it. I would say if you like vlogs or if you like, I don't wanna say self-help content because I feel like that's not really a thing anymore, but maybe like self-awareness content and videos about you know social commentary on what's going on in the world right now i would definitely watch lynette atkins if i were you i'm trying to get up in her comment section as well i'm working on the comment section thing guys you're gonna see me more and more in the comment section of all these people that i talk about and last but certainly not least is Aaliyah's face the main thing she's known for now is the lifestyle content the vlogging and i just really enjoy her personality and her content i think that she's really real like she stays she keeps it real you can tell that she's being like her full self i think you're living under a rock if you haven't seen Aaliyah's face content like let's be so for real she's that girl let's be for real i've been watching her for a really long time like i used to watch her when she just did beauty content and when she was just doing like makeup tutorials and hair tutorials when she was doing like wig tutorials before she got like deep 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 into vlogging Aaliyah stays with the long videos we love a long vlog she comes with like the hour plus vlogs and if you know you know our plus vlogs are where it's at okay she is someone who's really motivating because you can really see how she's like elevated her life and she does videos like there was one video that she did that it was like how to elevate your life or something for some reason i can't find it right now but that was one of the videos that really stuck out to me because i think she she has like she's very like raw and honest about 
the reality of her life and how she did get to where she got to. She has a lot of like luxurious things within her life, but I like how real she is about how she got there, how long it took her to get there, where she came from. She just seems like a really cool babe and I feel like some people you be watching them online and it feels like if you met them it would be like it's not a thing. Do you know what I mean? There's certain people that I've personally met in person and some of them are like exactly what you think they'd be like and then some of them it's it's a different vibe but she seems like someone who it's the same vibe it bees it's it's it's, it, it's she's what she is and she that girl okay she's that girl i watch her so much i know when she uploads she uploads on a sunday okay so if you like like long vlogs or if you like like beauty and um lifestyle content i would definitely recommend Elias face but yeah i hope you enjoyed i hope you do binge some youtube like let's switch up guys not everyday love is blind it's not everyday love island it's not everyday married at first sight okay let's switch it up if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe and if you want to see more youtube recommendations from me let me know in the comments i have done previous videos on youtube recommendations i've done like black youtubers in the uk i've also done like the beauty gurus from way back when and shouting them out because they came back i stay on this app let me be real i stay on this app so give me someone else that i can binge okay <laughs> Uh, I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!